what's going on guys it's your boy jesse d123 back with another video and in today's video we're going to be bringing you guys three early predictions that i think might go diamond in next roster update drop a like if you guys are excited man if you guys have not clicked that subscribe button yet please consider doing so we're on the road to 1600 subs right now i believe we're really really close so if you guys don't see that number at 1600 yet please be the cool guy or girl that makes it happen i really appreciate it but before we get into today's video we got to give today's comment shout out shout out to my boy ian bolts your comments on screen bro i appreciate you for being the first person to comment on yesterday's video now if you guys want to be like my boy ian and get a shout out in the next video or next videos to come all you guys got to do is be the first person to comment on the videos now my best advice to you guys to be the first person to comment is turn those post notifications on obviously you guys got to be subscribed turn the post notifications on whenever youtube notifies you um click it drop a like and drop a comment and hopefully you guys are the first one so without further ado, man, let's get right into today's video. It's going to be a nice and quick and easy one, guys. So we have three early predictions, and they're all pitchers. The very first one is going to be Joe Musgrove. As you guys can see on your screen right now, he's going for about 4,200 to 3,600 stubs. So if you can snag him right now, you'll still make a good amount, maybe like close to 1,000 profit if this guy goes diamond. Now, let me show you guys why. I'm going to bring up his real-life stats on your screen. Let me pull them up on my screen. Okay. So obviously this is super early prediction right super early so i'm going to be look taking a look at his three last performances okay so obviously down your screen right now we're going to be starting with june 12th so i believe he did take the l that game he had an era of a 2.5 um let's see he did pitch 6.1 innings he gave up four hits three runs and yeah he gave up three runs with one of them being a home run he gave up a walk but he did have seven strikeouts and held the opponents to a 0.177 batting average against them. Now, this is probably one of his um, not better performances, let alone, I think that's about three weeks ago already. So, I don't know if SCS is going to factor that game into it, but let's go into the next one, June 17th. So, that one, he didn't get a decision. He had 2.28 ERA. Um, let's see, what else did he have? He pitched seven innings, gave up only four hits, which honestly isn't pretty bad. Honestly, that's pretty good. He gave up three walks, though, and he only had two strikeouts that game. And then June 23rd when he played the Dodgers, and I did mention this in my other prediction, I brought up this game. Um, he didn't get a decision. I mean, he went, yeah, he didn't get a decision. He had a 2.22 ERA. He went six innings, gave up two hits, uh, two runs, one of them being earned. Um, a hit by pitch, I think, HB, whatever that means. Sorry, let me just ignore that. He gave up two walks, and then he had five strikeouts, held the Dodgers to a .171 batting average. So honestly, man, joe musgrove i mean obviously you guys see his price a lot of people do think he's going to be going diamond if he keeps this up in his next two starts if he gives up like less like not too many hits and not too many runs and has a lot of more strikeouts this guy will be going diamond so please keep him on your radar you guys could be like me and just just literally search up joe musgrove or and the other two people that i'm going to mention later on and just keep tabs on them and you know and then you guys might want to invest into them i'm probably going to be buying a couple of him not too many um i don't want to you know invest too much into him and then he doesn't go diamond then i'm gonna take a l you know but i'm gonna be investing into all these cards mentioned here so don't feel like i'm telling you guys to invest into some cards that i'm not even gonna invest into um but it's your stuff guys remember i'm not telling you guys to do so i'm just putting the information out there and you guys make the decision so the next guy on the list guys is gonna be our boy giovanni gallegos now this guy he's going for about four thousand to three thousand eight hundred stubs right now a lot of people just think this guy's gonna be going diamond and he's a relief pitcher and he's balling out man you guys see his hits per nine he has an inside edge up to a 120 and, and the max is 125 this guy's been balling out man so let me throw his real life stats up on screen so he's a relief pitcher so he has a little more games but in this video we're going to be going over the last three games so june 23rd remember he's a relief pitcher so he only comes in for about maybe an inning um he had a 2.06 era at the time in that one game he pitched 1.2 innings and he had a strikeout he didn't give up a hit or anything so that's pretty good june 25th um coming into that game he had a 2.03 era um he only pitched two outs 0.2 innings and didn't do anything so i mean that's doesn't hurt him right he didn't give up a hit but he didn't get a strikeout and then in, in his most recent game june 26 um he came in with a 1.9 era 1.98 era he pitched one inning gave up a hit but he had two strikeouts think about that two strikeouts to one hit and this guy's just been consistent guys honestly it's crazy because I, I bought I invested a lot into this card last year and he never went diamond and he got a finest card, which was kind of weird. But anyways, I do think this guy will be going diamond. I mean, someone else from the Cardinals has to be in. Honestly, Giovanni has been balling out. We only have Nolan Arenado at the moment. 
Giovanni Gallegos look for him to be going diamond possibly in the next update and if not the next update eventually this man will go diamond especially if he keeps this up because he's just not giving up hits getting strikeouts and just honestly balling man and the last guy on the list is gonna be my boy Freddie Peralta now a lot of people and I mean a lot of people this guy might be a lock and I mean I mean it guys a lock for the next update as you guys can see he's going for 4,300 stubs and 3,800 stubs um a lot of people do think this guy's gonna be a lock for diamond now one thing my boy chris he mentioned he did say he only had three pitches chris hey chris you're watching this video so what happened did they give him a fourth pitch i remember my boy chris telling me he only had three pitches so they must have gave him another pitch i don't know i was gonna bring that up that he only had three pitches but i remember my boy chris telling me that anyways you guys see the hits per nine right there this guy's just been dominating and it's crazy because i'm throwing the stats up on screen right now literally as i'm recording this video this man is pitching so let me refresh the stats sorry you guys already have the fresher stats at least from when i took a screenshot of them um give me one second guys i'm pulling everything up all right there we go so in the last three games that's what we're gonna go over so june 16th he took the l coming in with a 2.28 era um, he pitched seven innings, gave up five hits, um, two runs, but he had six strikeouts and held the opponent to a .140 batting average against him. So honestly, I wouldn't say that's um, too bad. Honestly, he gave up five hits in seven innings. Honestly, I don't think that's too bad. Um, June 22nd, he got the W. Coming into that game, he had a 2.11 ERA. He did pitch six innings, only gave up one hit. That's very, very good. One hit in six innings. He gave up four walks, though, but... This man had 10 strikeouts. This guy, he balled out that game, held his opponents to a 1.34 e, uh, excuse me, batting average against him, which is, my goodness, amazing. And then right now, at the moment, he came into this game with a 2.25 ERA. Remember, this game is live. In three innings, he's given up two hits and two earned runs with three walks and five strikeouts. So remember, he probably still has another three to four innings to play keep an eye out on how this game finishes obviously i don't know when this video is going to be uploaded is it going to be uploaded when he's out the game already is it going to be uploaded when he's still pitching i don't know keep tabs on him though man because i think this guy is gonna be a lock for diamond for sure man for sure but like all three of these guys mentioned guys i'm not telling you guys to invest into the cards even though i kind of am but i'm just giving you guys the information and leaving it up to you if you guys want to risk your stubs for the high um the high high reward obviously investing to a car like this he's almost going for four thousand right now so it's not too much gain unless you buy a lot of them now that's the thing if you guys buy a lot of them and he a lot of them and he doesn't go diamond you guys are probably going to be mad at me but like i said i'm just giving you guys the information and i'm letting you guys know i'm going to be investing into gallegos peralta and um who's the other one and joe musgrove so best believe guys i'm going to be investing to these cards and you guys may 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 or may not do so as well it's up to you like i said it's your stubs however you want to use them um but yeah man so that's gonna be it for the video guys hope you guys enjoyed drop a like if you guys did now somebody told me i forgot who it was they, they told me jesse do an early predictions now this is the first one i'm doing and i'm going to be doing many more of these so how did i do let me know down in the comments do you guys want to see some more hitters i just thought i would keep it to three pitchers because it's easier to read off their stats because you have to do a little more research for the hitters but if you guys want to see some hitters best believe i'll do that research for you guys um but yeah man so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video drop a like if you guys did and i'll see you guys in the next one it's been your boy jesse d123 and i'm out